Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to the vlog. We are going to actually have this vlog over a couple days, so not to get any confusion, this will be over the next couple days, but today we are going to go work on Oliver, the project truck that is going on power tour that you saw last episode. Uh, we're going to go finish up those bars real quick, and then with that not being a ton of work, I figured we'd just kind of go into the next couple days and see what goes from there. Let's get started. Hey guys, we are back out at Kyle's house. I had a little problem solving I had to do with the traction bars. So, as you may remember from last time, which if you haven't seen last video, go back. The link will be in the description to see what is leading up to this video. But we were working on the traction bars, and this is the rear mount for the traction bars. Um, I showed you guys these singular pieces last time. There is now a bolt between them. Now, this bolt is a half inch bolt which fits through the original holes that were in the blades. Now the other bolt was a 5 8 bolt which is bigger. So I thought I'm going to take some rubber from a hose and put it around the bolt and make it a thicker bolt in this inside and that way you can just use a normal bolt, don't have to drill it out. Makes it, fills the gap, right? Super easy. Well, I put the bushing that goes into the bar over this rubber hose and well it fit it fit over it it takes a little cursing and it'll fit but however where we put go to put that inside the actual traction bar through here this had to stretch out too wide and was not able to fit in here properly so this was too thick and I was like, man, this is going to be bad. I'm going to have to go drill those out and use the other bolt or something. I was like, man, that's just going to take time. It's not, I wouldn't prefer to do it that way. I mean, it, it's an okay way to do it, but it'll cut material down on that and make the outside not as thick. I was like, man, what, what other way can I do it? Well, I found a way on this one. So what I did was we took the good old Gorilla Tape wrapped it around the bolt, made it just the right size for the inside of this bushing, fit on, bolted it all up, and it works. So, I guess duct tape is always the answer? Maybe not, but you know what? With this truck, duct tape, zip ties, and bailing wire, that's pretty much what cuts it on this thing. So, we'll just duct tape it up, put it in there, nobody's ever going to know. That Gafford's tape uh, does really good, it's the Gorilla Tape. Apparently, Kyle has a friend that used to race motorcycles, and whenever he had the exhaust coming out underneath the bike, and it started burning his riding boot. Put that on, over it, lasted the rest of the entire season. It started burning it on like the first or second race, lasted the rest of the season. So, for it to do a job like this, I'm not too worried. So, we're just going to get it done this way. So... One problem that you'll run into if you're trying to tape something to a bolt that has to move in and out of here, because if we ever want to take the bars off, we have to pull this bolt out so that the bar can then drop and out. So if we just taped it onto this bolt, it's not going to allow it to come out whenever it's up in the truck and we can't get to it. So what you have to do is take the back side of the tape, wrap it around the bolt backwards, around onto itself which is kind of tricky and you gotta hold on to it and try to make it lay flat it's kind of kind of annoying but once you get it around it's no problem help two hours later all right so I got it wrapped around backwards where we're wrapping it like that and then you get it wrapped around a good little ways, make sure it's stuck to the back side of it, and then you flip it. And you flip it back over on itself and wrap it around so that the black side is out also. This is because you don't want it to stick onto the bushing and you also don't want it to stick onto the bolt. You just want it to be a layer in there that it can slide off of both. 
This makes it possible to then later take this assembly apart and redo it. And if this ever gives way, you can make another one. So you put it in there, put it over the bushing, and voila, you're good. Okay, so Kyle came out here because he just got home. And uh, we were talking. I showed him my beautiful idea with the duct tape, which put in the comments that I was right. I mean, because it's a great idea. Anywho, he came out here and he decided he was going to look and find something. And he, he found this way faster than it took me to make those tape things. But it's okay. But this pipe is half inch on the inside, five eighths on the outside. Exactly what I needed and I couldn't find it at the store the other day. He just happened to have it, you know. Because it's Kyle and he just has stuff. So, I... We got a copper pipe, which is still kind of um, a little different. Um, feels like we might be doing some plumbing, although we're making a truck run better. But he thought that this would work a little better. And yeah, it's, it could probably last a little longer, maybe, you know, whatever. So we're going to cut this up real quick and uh, use that as our shim. Uh, get rid of the tape, use that. This is our shim and then put it all up, weld it together and you guys get to see it. Now we have the new copper shim in here, which it moves a lot freer and uh, it's gonna last a little longer. So thank you, Kyle, for your good input, even though the tape would have been good. It's fine. Oh, we got copper in here now. We're gonna throw it under the truck. Okay hey guys, there are the new traction bars in all of their glory. Yeah, the paint looks bad, but it's going to help it keep from rusting. And hey, these might actually work, so we will have to put them to the test. Hey guys, so my camera battery died again, but we got those welded up. The truck is done for the night, and I'm going to head home. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back home. It is actually another day, uh, as you can probably tell, and I am getting ready to go to work for today, but after work, I'm going to take you guys along with me because I have to leave a little bit early from work, and we are going to the airport to pick somebody up, and I'm going to take you guys right along with me. So, let's go see who that is. I'll catch up to you after work. Hey guys, we are after work now. I am on my way over to Indy to pick up the people from the airport. Let's go for a drive. Hey guys, uh, we got the people that I was picking up from the airport. They're actually my parents. Hi. So, Hello. Hey guys. So um, the terminal was really busy, um, uh -huh. so I wasn't going to try to film while trying to drive and get through that mess. I'm but glad. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we uh, we got to a parking lot. We're gonna get something to eat here a little bit. Mom lost her luggage. My big suitcase. It's in Houston. So uh, we'll have to wait for that to come in a little bit later. But uh, they got. Oh, they had a really good time in New Zealand. They were on the North Island. Um, they'll talk about it a little bit later, but uh, they are actually thinking about making their own YouTube channel. So you guys can see that type of stuff on there. Uh, give us some comments on what you think, some ideas of some stuff that they could do um, with their ministry and what you guys would think about that. But uh, I'm just happy to have them home. We're going to get something to eat now, and uh, we'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. Hey, guys. So we made it home. Um, they are very exhausted. They have jet lag, and it's it's also very late at night. So uh, we're going to get wrapping up for the night. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we welcome did them eat home. at Steak and Shake. Yeah, we ate at Steak hey, and Shake. Hey. We had a good meal. Uh, so thank you guys for coming along with us. Uh, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, that would mean a lot. And if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would be also very helpful. And uh, that's it for us tonight, so have a blessed day, and we'll talk at you next time.